right, our first objective is to get the Nanami clan. So I'm interested spinning. We need to get the Nanami clan. It's a 10% chance of getting a rare and there's four rares. So it's kind of like a 2.5% chance of getting it. We have 17 spins because we use the code. We've got 12 extra spins. Wow, we don't even need those spins. Wow, though we got so lucky. Nanami clan exit. I'm not spinning. I don't want to spin anymore. Easy peasy first try. Wow, our look has been. Wow, our look. That, that was amazing, amazing look. So, wow. Wow, we actually got it first try. That's actually really, really good. And now our second goal is to get the deadly mew, the weapon that he like yields basically. And there's only two ways of getting it. It's either get it from modules from like like bandits and stuff. The NPCs drop the modules. Or either I get it from basically grinding and getting 100,000 yen because that's how much it costs. So first things first, we're going to be doing the Gojo quest. We're going to be doing the story mode quest. Give this note to a friend in Akita Residence. Okay, fine. Okay, now we just need to follow this arrow. It is Aikita who, who dares, what dares and choose you. So oh, Gojo sent you. Thanks, cursed spirits. You're asking me about cursed spirits. I'm afraid I can't reveal that to normal people. All right, we're back at Gojo. You want to know about curses, huh? I could use with some cleaning up. How about we book together? Okay, we got a mission. Okay, first mission. Before I explain more, go and defeat five bandits. Okay, now we need to defeat five bandits. They're not that strong. Okay, take our melee out. And we just follow this arrow. Where's the five bandits there? Okay, they should be right there. And we should easily defeat them, I think. We have eight points. I don't think I want to put that much points into... I don't know if I want to put points into my melee because I want to try and save up for a sword. However, if I don't put any points up into my melee, I'm going to be super, super weak. Let me just hit him like this. Boom, boom, boom. All right. We, oh, this guy just stole my kill. Wait, have they stole my kill yet? Nope. All right. Okay, we've killed one. Oh, yo, this guy's combo me. Okay, we've killed two. Okay, these guys, are, I'm pretty sure they're helping me out, which is pretty, pretty good. Okay, we killed three. Okay, the fourth one. Come on. To be honest, the band's not even that strong. I can kill them easily with, like, without even putting any stats into my melee. And then the fifth one. Okay, let me just hit this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Imagine, imagine we get a module from one of them. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Boom. boom. And then last, last hit. There we go, we've completed the quest and now we need to go talk back to Gojo. Alright, we're back to Gojo and should have been easy enough. You want to learn about what I do? Well, I don't have time for that. Talk to Kita again, okay? We need to go talk to Kita and buy the basic book of sorcerers. We have 12 stats. I'm going to put, I think, a little bit into my defense and a little bit into my stamina. However, I don't think I want to put any, any into my melee for now. Okay, I'll sell the basic book of sorcerers for you, okay? There we go. Now we have the basic book of sorcerers. And now we can go back to Gojo. Alright, Gojo, now you know what kind of mess you've got yourself into. Hey, alright, there's no backing out once you know about sorcerers. Our existence is a secret on this mission. Scram and hang out with him and he will help you train. Okay, now we need to talk to Shigeru. And I'm pretty sure after that that we need to get to level 50. But we're going to have to grind like the bandits and like the armed bandits and then the shrooms. And that's where I'll have the highest chance of hopefully getting one of the modules. And then opening the module and hopefully getting the deadly mew. That'll be pretty, pretty cool. Go around Midlands and Nori Village, do side quests and come back when you're level 50. You only have one chance of getting to Jujutsu High School after that. Okay, so now we need to get to level 50 by just doing these quests. Basically, the armed bandits and like everyone that's here, we need to just kill them back and forth until we do get to level 50. And the first thing we're going to do is just go on side quests, bandits, the requirements, there we go. And confirm, just need to try and hit him once. Oh, these guys keep on killing the bandits way too fast. There we go, hit him. Right, now they can kill him. I want to hit him too here. Boom, boom, boom. Killing these bandits, I think we need to get to level 15, and then after that, we move into the arm bandits. So, yeah, guys, I'm just gonna be killing these guys a few times, get into level 15, and I'll be right back with you guys. Hey, we got our first module from grinding these guys. We got a common module, and imagine we get it first try. I, I doubt we will, but imagine we do, that'll be super, super good. But yeah, we got our first module from killing these bandits, and I just need to kill this guy, last guy here, defeat him. There we go, and now we can accept the quest, and I'm gonna open it. My first module. I'm hoping we get something good. It's the module, it's a common one. If we got a rare one, that would have been super, super amazing. However, we got a common one, which isn't that bad either. I'm not complaining. At least we did get a module. Yes, sir. Please give me something good. Come on, give me deadly move first. Try. Yeah, no, we did not get it. We got final wish. To be honest, that's not even that bad. I'm actually gonna be using it for a bit. Uh, so now I have an excuse to put all my stats into my weapon. There we go. So now we actually finally have a weapon. Even though it's final, which is better than using my melee. So now we're just going to keep on killing these guys. Keep on doing the quest until we reach level 15. And I'll be right back with you guys. Hey, and we got another module. Let's go. We just need to kill these last two bandits and complete the quest. We've got another module. Another chance to get the deadly move. That would be pretty, pretty good. Nata, there we go. And now we can open our next, next chest. Oh my god, it's Emerald Ascension. Basically the exact same as any other common the all have the exact same move, so there's no point of changing between them. Right, just like that, we've completed the bandit quest, and now we can move on to the armed bandits. 
they're going to be giving us more XP and more coins. So yeah, I'm hoping we do get the modules and we do get the deadly moon before we have to reach 100,000 yen. However, it's probably going to be very, very unlikely. Yeah, I'm just going to be killing these guys here. This guy should not be that much more difficult than the normal bandits. Very, very similar in strength. However, these guys block a lot more, which is really, really annoying. To be honest with the weapon, it's super, super easy to kill these guys. Super, super easy. Oh no, I hate when they hit me before I do hit them. Super, super annoying. Oh, why is there two of them? No, I'm oh, no, it's my first time dying. No, it's my first time dead. Oh, it's super, super annoying because both of them start attacking at the same time. However, we did complete the quest. I think somebody killed them for us. I think we're meant to reach level 35 doing this. And then after that, we're going to go to the streams. So yeah, guys, we're going to be grinding this a little bit more. And yeah, if I get a module, I'll be back. And if I don't, I'll be back when I'm level 35. All right. And finally, we reach level 35 so we can unlock the streams quest. And with that, we've actually gathered a decent decent amount of modules we have uh, five modules to open i'm super super excited to open them hopefully we do get the deadly me i don't think we will to be honest but yeah hoping the look hoping the look carries over from the clan spins come on give me something give me something give me something oh man this edge i think we're just going to be getting shafted with comments comments and comments come on game come on game come on i know you i know you want to give me the deadly me i know you want to give me it oh viper's edge that's actually a very very decent weapon just not the weapon that we want oh no that rare was the one that we needed no oh uh, emerald ascension and then the last one hopefully we don't get shafted but we probably will be uh come on come on come on game come on come on oh final wish so we only got viper's edge no man no 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 that was oh if we just got deadly me that would have been perfect and yeah i think i think the goal is just to get 100,000 so we can buy it because for me i don't think i'm gonna get it from modules i'll be honest with you unless i get like a rare module and i get super super looking at the deadly moo but yeah now we're just gonna be defeating the shrooms these guys are not that difficult these guys should not be a problem oh but there's so many people on them that's gonna be pretty, pretty annoying to kill them and there's lots of people on them let me just hit this guy and then boom 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 there we go all right, all right we've got one and we need to kill four more all right there's two ten per hit which is pretty pretty good it's pretty pretty nice we can just keep on hitting them there we go i think we did yep okay we need one more boy so laggy what oh we actually got a decent trait you know supercharger is a pretty pretty good trait oh this guy might kill me here never mind he won't no he might actually kill me whoa whoa, whoa. relax relax there relax pal relax and boom all right we need to wait for our forward rush to get back and then there we go then hit him one more time and just like that we've completed the quest and we lock the next move at level 120 but yeah i think we have to do this until we're level 50 so i'm going to be doing this until we reach level 50 and after that we're going to be opening all the modules that we get if we do get any from these guys but yeah i'll be back guys once i am level 50 all right guys after a little bit more grinding we finally reached level 50 so we're just gonna do this quest and we have finished this quest to be honest we didn't get that many modules only got two from it there we go first one is that gonna give me the deadly moo okay wait with cutter okay this yeah i don't think we're gonna get the deadly moo anytime soon but i do want to get it from a module because i will actually get a trait from it but yeah unfortunately we did not get it from those two modules actually going to go back to that guy i forgot his name things like shigoro or something all right well i didn't expect for you to make it back this quick it looks like you're ready make the journey to jujitsu high and talk to my friend Kodo. Okay, we need to go to Jujutsu High. Alright, we've made it to Jujutsu High. I would need to go talk to Todo. So we can just go here and there we go. The story, blah blah blah. Shigeru sent a score. You want to be like you to attend Jujutsu High. Go speak to Principal Ayago. Okay, we need to go talk to the principal now. And then this principal is actually going to give us 20,000 to go and get a curse. We can get a curse for like 7,000 and we'll have 13,000 left, which would be pretty, pretty good. I'm hoping, I'm hoping though, with the brooms always, I think the brooms are always in stock pretty pretty sure so i'm gonna go to the curse shop yep the devil's broom's always in shop buy with the end click again and there we go we have the devil's broom and we have seventy nine thousand. so we only need like twenty one thousand left and then we can finally finally get the deadly mute the deadly musician right there if you can see it we just killed juniors so yeah so you finally got yourself a curse eh? go talk to me or uh, there's been a peculiar incident at jesu high i want you to go and take a look at it okay okay we need to be at least level 70 all right so 20 levels from now so now we're just going to be doing these side quests so the juniors are going to go here and just absolutely obliterate the juniors oh we also have five four points here that we can put i'm going to put it into health so we don't really die that much and also our nanami effect has actually came in look at got 232 more hp and uh, look at our stamina it's perfect um, and look at that we do so much more damage like 13 damage per hit which is pretty pretty good so yeah the anime effect that I'm, pretty, I'm telling you the anime clan is the best clan in the game by far and then we can hit this guy and after that the superchargers came into effect and now we're doing 40 damage per hit which is pretty pretty good i'm very strong so i think i can easily defeat these guys with no difficulty i hate it when they get me the combo because i cannot escape it at all and then just keep on blocking 
We just use our Viper Strike and then keep on hitting them. Look at that, we're doing 17 per hit. We're doing so much per hit. And uh, then we just need to hit him one more time. There we go, when you kill one more. Yeah, this is just very, very easy. And look, every single time we just do more damage every single time. We're doing 18 damage now, which is pretty, pretty good. And there we go. We've already completed it. It's pretty, pretty easy. We just need to go back, go back and forth. And I think after like five or six quests, maybe seven, we'll have enough money to finally buy the Deadly Moose. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be doing this quest a few more times. And yeah, I'll be back after... We either get like a few modules or until we get 100,000 yen so we can finally buy the Deadly Mew. Alright guys, after a little bit more grinding, we have finally reached 100,000 yen. However, we also got one module. We have the last chance before we buy it to get it. So, the last chance. Come on, give me something. Game, please. Are you going to get me something good? I got a wayward cut. Okay, that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Now we can finally, finally get the deadly mood. I think that we've been aiming for this whole video. We're going to walk there. I can see it right in the building. Let me just turn my cursor thing. It's right there. I can see it. Price to 100,000 yen. Do you want to buy it? Yes, I do. You've purchased deadly mood. There we go. And look at that. Oh, why is it not popped up? Why is it not popped up yet? Why is it not popped up? Oh, I think we have to reset our character. Right, now it's popped up. We have the two moves, Earth Shatter and Whirlwind. We're going to try them both out and just see how amazing they all look. So we just need to wait until both of them reload and we can try them out. And a normal bandit would be fine. All right, guys, the first move is Earth Shatter. So we're going to be using it. So blop, just like that. Pretty cool move. And then the next move. All right, guys, and the next move is Whirlwind. So we're just going to be using that. Just like that, we get him up and we just use a combo. We kill him before even the combo began. Pretty, pretty cool move. These two moves are very, very nice. So Earth Shatter is like, I really, I really like Earth Shatter especially because you can just hit it and predict the shot. Boom. And the second that hits you, you can just hit him. It's pretty, pretty good. But yeah, guys, that has been the video of me going from noob to an anime. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below what other noob to pros I should be doing in Kaizen. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. And peace out, guys. Peace out.